Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my past paper uh, solution videos. In this video, I'd like to work out question two of the C of the CXC CSEC Math January 2012 paper two. So let's just see what paper two is about. Okay, so again, add. So this be this question is broken down into three parts and what I do I'd have a video for each part. So in this video I'd actually work out um, part A alone. So that is solve the pair of simultaneous equations. So I'll be working out this section here. And the simul pair of simultaneous equations we have to solve is 3x plus 2y equal 13 and x minus 2y equal negative 1 and this question is with 3 marks okay so before I actually go into solving the, the problem let me just state that um, when you are given a pair of simultaneous equations uh, well in this case it's a pair of both both equations are linear equations and so these equations represent um, represent lines so what we uh, what we really have here is a pair of lines. If we think graphically, a pair of lines on a graph, and they intersect at some point. And the value of x and y that we find is actually the point of intersection of these lines. So there are four ways we can solve this equation. We can use some calling method of substitution, some calling method of elimination. We can use a matrix method, and or we can use, um, we can actually plot both lines and then find the point of intersection. You'd actually see the three different ways here. Um, you'd see substitution elimination and you'd see the graphical method. What, so the blog post that I did shows the method of substitution elimination. So before I jump to that, I want to show you the graphical method. So I've already prepared something um, in a program called GeoGebra and what I'll show you is um, the two lines I've, I've plotted and what they represent and the point of intersection so let me show you line one so this is line one here in blue and line one represents um, the equation 3x plus 2y equal 13 right so let's just check that so that is line one and then line two line two is this line here in green and this line represents the line x minus 2y equal negative one and then notice that they intersect at this point here so let's just plot that point of intersection so that's the intersection of line one and line two and this is the point P that we want to find, right? And usually we would find this point using an algebraic method, which is substitution or elimination or the matrix method. That's the algebraic method. And what we see is that this point P is actually, so the point of intersection is the point 3, 2, right? So we basically solve the, que solve the question here, but I still want to show you the method of substitution and the method of elimination. And you'd see that in both methods we'd also get 3, 2, right? Which is the point of intersection of the two lines represented by those equations. Okay, so let's let's get into the uh, let's get into it. So I so as usual I've already solved it, so I'll just um, explain what was done. So you want to solve these PL simultaneous equations. So the first thing the first thing I did was uh, let me label. So let me call this, let me expand the screen. So let me call this, so let me clear that, and let me call this equation, equation one, and let me call this equation, equation two. So here I want to use the method of substitution. So what I noticed was that in the second equation, um, the coefficient of x was one. So what I can do is write the equation so that x is written in terms of y or x is the subject of the formula and so to get out what I what I did was add 2y to both sides so when you add 2y to both sides you get what x minus 2y 
plus 2i equal minus 1 plus 2i right negative 2i sorry 2i minus 2i is equal to 0 so you get x on this side and I didn't want to write minus I didn't want to write it like this minus 2i plus 2i so I wrote it as 2i minus 1 sorry as minus 1 plus 2i so I wrote it as 2i minus 1 okay so now we have x in terms of y and we go back to equation 1 now so we have a value for x right albeit in terms of y and we need to substitute that value for x into the first equation here and that is what I did so I substituted the value of x which is 2y minus 1 so we have 3 times x which is 2y minus 1 plus 2y equals 18 and then I um, simplified on this side so um, 3 times 2 is 6 so you get 6y 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 plus the 2y bring down the 2y equal 13 now 6y plus 2y so I I, um, I put like terms together so 6y plus 2y is 8y minus 3 equal 13 and then I added 3 to both sides here to get rid of the 3. So I add 3 to both sides, so minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so that's why I get 8y on this side alone. And I add 3 to this side, so I get 13 plus 3 is equal to 16. And then y is equal to 2 because I divide by 8 on both sides. Right? So dividing by 8 on both sides, I get 8 into 8, 1, so I get 1y or y, and 16 divided by 8 is 2. So that's how I got y equal to. Now that we have a value for y, we need to put that value into here to get the value for x. Right? So x now is equal to 2 times 2y, sorry, 2 times 2, which is this here, minus 1, which is 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. And therefore x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. And notice, this is indeed what we got here, right? I'm going to clear this. This is indeed what we got here. x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2. Right, so it works. This is the substitution method. Now let's see if we could use the method of elimination. Well, using the method of elimination means we have to either make the coefficient of y the same in both cases or the coefficient of x the same in both cases. Now since since the absolute value of the coefficient of y is 2 already we we don't need to go and fix up the x's to do anything we could just we could just use the y's and notice that if we add both equations then we'd have 2y minus 2y given us the 0 so the y would be eliminated hence the name method of elimination so we'd eliminate y now how do we eliminate y? So we add to the both equations and this here shows the adding of both equations. So you get 3, so this, this part here is the first equation, 3x plus 2y. This is the second equation, x minus 2y, and first equation, second equation. I put this in brackets not to um, get confused with the operators, right? Because we add in negative 1. Add in negative 1 is the same as subtracting 1. So that's how you get 13 minus 1 here. And then we remove the brackets and simplify. We when we well, simplify and we get x. And on this side you get bring it down 12 and we get 4x equal 12. We divide through all by 4 on both sides, so we get x equal 3. And then if x is equal to 3, you can use the first or the second equation to find the value of y. And when we do that, well, this here. Okay, anyway, any post I'll go ahead and change this. Let's see what we actually get. We shouldn't get 4, right? So I won't change that any post, but let's see what we actually get. So x is 3, so you get 3 minus 2y equal minus 1. We get, we add, if we subtract 3 from both sides, we get minus 2y equal minus 1 minus 3 which is minus 4 and if we divide through by minus 2 we get y is equal to minus 4 divided by minus 2 is equal to 2 right so we, we actually get back the 2 this this here this here was an error
Alright, and that is how we solve the same pair of time linear equations. So I showed you I showed you method of substitution, the method of elimination, and I showed you the graphical method initially. So I hope I hope this helps in solving this this problem as well as future problems. I, I don't think I mentioned this in other videos, but you can post comments. You can post let me clear this. You can post comments um, on these blog posts and to get to this post you go to you go to this you go to this URL that is being shown here and you can post your comment or when I actually put this video on YouTube you you can post your comments there and you can give me your suggestions you can tell me if you can let me know if you understood my explanation or if I missed out something or if I I didn't explain something too well and give me feedback so I'd know how to improve to make these videos and these posts um, a lot better for you in the future.